Hey dancers, it's Justine here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own ballet bar. We're going to make it out of PVC pipe and I'm going to show you every step along the way. It has been so much fun for me to watch you guys take class from home while we can't be together. So I thought it would be fun to show you a ballet bar tutorial. I think it will really enhance your class if you have a nice sturdy bar to work at. Let's get started. I cut my pipe myself, but you can definitely ask the nice guys at Home Depot to cut it for you. You will need six 8-inch pieces, two 48-inch pieces, and two 26-inch pieces. You will also need four PVC tees, six PVC elbows, PVC primer and cement, which is also glue, spray paint primer, spray paint in the color you wish your bar to be, a tape measure, and finally a rubber mallet. Once you have all your supplies and your tools, you're ready to start building. We're going to start by taking an elbow piece and one of your 8 inch pieces, press them together with a little twist, also use your mallet, give them a little tap. to one of the T pieces. T is going to face up, the elbow is going to face down because that will be the foot of your bar. I'm going to say bluing for the end because as I learned on the first one, you have to get it nice and square, everything really um, you know, lined up so it's sturdy when you press it firmly on the floor and then you also have to make sure this one's coming up nice and straight as well. A little tap to get all of these pieces together. So I have my two, my two bases. All right, next I'm going to do the two levels of bar. These are long 48 inch pieces for those. I'm going to start with an elbow on the top bar. to make sure that everything is square, everything is even, nice and tight. Um, especially tight, I'll say through this um, T-joint right here, because this one is already glued, it's nice and tight. This one, however, it was just wanting to fluctuate a little bit when I, when I tested on the floor, pushing down on it and stuff. So we'll give it a real good hammer once the glue's on there, and just to double check. All right, so here I go. We're gonna start with a really light coat of the purple, because this stuff is really runny. A little bit messy, a really light coat of the purple, and then a quick coat of the clear stuff. I'm going to press this in good and tight. Working on a nice sturdy flat surface is ideal. Maybe do this on the floor or out on the table so you guys can see me, but I keep taking it down to the cement where I can double check my work. Add that you're going to want a nice, well ventilated place to do all of these things. Um, this glue can be a little bit potent. Alright, next I'm going to do the same thing for the feet.
I did not glue either of the joints on the two 26 inch pieces. That way you'll be able to break it down for storage later on. Once your bar is built and glued together, it's time to spray paint it. We're gonna start with the primer because this is plastic and it's kind of shiny. And I, I really anticipate that if you were to just coat it in spray paint, it would chip off, flake off, and not last very long. So what I'm doing right now is I took a microfiber, I just got it damp. I'm wiping it off to make sure there's no dust, debris, things like that that could get trapped in our spray paint. All right, make sure you're working in a nice ventilated area. I okay, have the garage doors open. I would be outside, but it's kind of rainy today. Um, but a nice dry day would be an ideal condition to work outside. I'm just gonna give it a nice light coat with the primer all over the whole thing. I let the primer dry for about 30 minutes. It's not tacky anymore, so now we're ready for our first coat of spray paint. There you have it, your very own bar for at-home training. I hope you get a lot of use out of it and had fun along the way. Please tag me so I can see your handiwork. I love and miss you.